This chapter will provide you with a basic introduction to some useful standard maneuvers. All navigators in charge of a navigational watch should have a theoretical understanding of basic open sea maneuvers. If possible, some practical training in executing such maneuvers is recommended. Examples of open sea maneuvers are taking a pilot on board, man overboard maneuvers. Search patterns. Transfer at sea. It is the responsibility of the master to ensure that the pilot can board the ship safely. At sea, unless the freeboard is very low, the boarding will be by pilot ladder, pilot ladder and accommodation ladder, pilot hoist, helicopter. Regulations for all of these methods are internationally agreed upon by conventions and instructions. Reference IMO Resolution A889-21, Pilot Transfer Arrangement. Move your mouse over the pilot card to zoom in. From the ship handling point of view, it is the duty of the master to provide safe conditions for the pilot when approaching the ship's side and when boarding the vessel. Maneuvering details are normally agreed upon via VHF communication. Usually the ship is turned in such a way that leeward is created on the boarding side. As long as space is available and the traffic situation allows it, the ship's hull will protect the pilot launch from wind and waves. During boarding, the propeller should be stopped in order to avoid injury if anyone should fall into the sea. In conditions where strong wind is causing large sea waves, it is possible to use the ship's wake in a tight turn to flatten the sea. This will give the pilot boat time to approach and for the pilot to reach the relative safety of the ladder. During boarding, the propeller should be stopped in order to avoid injury if anyone should fall into the sea. Several ports around the world offer pilot service by helicopter. Whether the helicopter lands or hovers, the master should be fully aware of and in agreement with the helicopter pilot's intentions. Accepted weather conditions may vary according to the rules imposed by the helicopter operator's approved operations manuals. Detailed information about helicopter ship operations is found in the ICS manual, Guide to Helicopter Ship Operations. When a person is reported to have fallen overboard, it is important to take appropriate action as soon as possible. Different man-overboard situations call for different actions. There are three basic man-overboard situations. Immediate action situation. The incident is noticed on the bridge and action is initiated immediately. Delayed action situation. An eyewitness reports the incident to the bridge and action is initiated with some delay. Person missing situation. A person is reported to the bridge as missing, and the time of incident is not known. Depending upon the situation and type of ship involved, different man-overboard maneuvers may be required. There are three standard maneuvers. The single turn, the Sharnoff turn, the Williamson turn. Since standard man-overboard maneuvers are not guaranteed to return a ship into its wake, these turns should be regularly practiced to account for the particular ship characteristics. In conditions of reasonable visibility and sea state, where you can keep the person in sight, the quickest way of returning is by the single turn. Rudder hard over in an immediate action situation only to the side of the casualty. After deviation from the original course by 250 degrees, 
rudder to midship position, and stopping maneuver to be initiated. The Sharnoff turn is not to be used in an immediate action situation. Put the rudder over hard. If in response to a man overboard, put the rudder toward the person. For example, if the person fell over the starboard side, put the rudder over full to starboard. Vessel starts to respond. After deviating from the original course by about 240 degrees, Shift the rudder hard to the opposite side. When heading about 20 degrees short of the opposite course, put the rudder midships and steady the vessel on the opposite course. In darkness, poor visibility or bad weather, when it is unlikely that the person will remain in sight during the manoeuvring, the Williamson turn should be used. Put the rudder over full. If in response to a man overboard, Put the rudder toward the person. For example, if the person fell over the starboard side, put the rudder over full to starboard. After deviating from the original course by about 60 degrees, shift the rudder full to the opposite side. When heading about 20 degrees short of the opposite course, put the rudder amidships and begin to steady on opposite course. Steady on near to opposite of original course. Immediate action. Bridge response. Rudder hard over to the side of the casualty. Release the bridge wing life buoy and the light and smoke signal. Press the man overboard button on the GPS or ECTIS. Sound the general alarm. Post lookouts and try to keep the casualty in sight. Order standby in engine. Prepare a pickup boat. Complete the single turn or Williamson turn as appropriate. There are six main groups of search patterns. Track crawl patterns, parallel track patterns, creeping line patterns, square patterns, sector patterns, contour patterns. Click the play button to the bottom right for an example of an expanding square pattern. Search pattern selection depends on a number of factors, including accuracy of the datum, size of the search area, number of search units available, their maneuverability or navigational accuracy, weather, type of detection aids available, etc. SOLAS Chapter 5, Safety of Navigation, requires ships to carry an up-to-date copy of Volume 3 of the International Aeronautical and Maritime Search and Rescue Manual. For more details on search and rescue operations, we refer to our CBT number 20, Search and Rescue. When resupplying is to be made, it is usual to agree to the general details of the transfer by radio beforehand. From the ship handling aspect, the important details are course and speed to be adopted by the guide ship, usually the larger vessel keeping a steady course and speed on which the other vessel is manoeuvring up on the side. The speed should be such that both vessels have full control of their manoeuvring capabilities and special attention must be given to the possibility of negative pressure areas around the ship hulls, which may make the ship uncontrollable. Transfer at sea is a difficult operation, which should be executed with utmost care.